Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be taking a further look and closer look at the Qbot X30 and also the Honor 9X Pro to my right. So both of these devices are about $100 apart, two, about 250 for the Honor 9X Pro, for the Qbot X30 about 189 So we're gonna cover um, everything about these phones, the build, the battery, the cameras, performance, user friendliness, overall builds, um, and day-to-day -day usage of these devices as well. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, stay locked in with me. But first thing I want to cover is the weight of both of these devices. Now, the weight is pretty, um, it's kind of weird because the Qbot is, is heavy. It's um, 212 grams. It feels really heavy in the hand. And this uh, Honor 8, 9X Pro is 206 grams. So it's the lighter device out of the two. You could definitely feel the weight of the Qbot. It has probably has to do with this large rectangle that they put on there, but really um really nice weight to it. it actually feels substantial to it. it has a nice glass finish to the back of it which catches fingerprints really easy i'm not going to even attempt to take them off because every time i touch it new ones appear same thing with the um, honor 9x pro we get the glossy um glass finish on the back as well now one of the things i want to talk about is the materials used now the honor 9x pro does have aluminum alloy and the Hubot X30 is plastic. So we're getting 84 percentage of screen to body ratio on both of these devices. Both of these devices will have 84% screen to body ratio, which is kind of crazy. So that just means that you can really see, um, you know, the screen really well on these devices. So look at how darker the blacks are on here on the notification shade i'm not sure if that has to do with the theme i'm using but i really like the screen on the qbot it just pops out so let's talk about more about these phones now the awesome thing about the qbot x30 is that it does come in four different colors black blue turquoise phantom blue as well we get blue gray and green for the honor 9x pro so three different colors versus four I really like the colors of these these devices, purple mixed with a pink tone, undertone, and even, um, you know, like a dark purple. This is more of a green, forest green mixed with like a emerald blue green color. Really beautiful colors here. Now on the displays, we are getting a 6.4 inch on the, uh, you know, the Cuba X30 right here. So 6.4 inches display, side mounted fingerprint. Also, we do get a side mounted fingerprint on the Honor 9X Pro. So let me just show you um, the speed of these fingerprint sensors because I know a lot of people want to know which one's faster. Wow, and the Honor fingerprint is unrivaled. There's no faster fingerprint in the world than the Honor fingerprint. A whole um, three, millimeter millimeter seconds it's like so quick it's it, as soon as you touch it it opens so there's no competition when it comes to the fingerprint sensor on the honor device now when it comes to the display panels they're both ips lcd panels 19 by 5 9 aspect ratio on both 1080 um times 2340 on the um the honor 9x pro and then on 23 by 10 on the Qbot X30. So really good job with the Qbot. They were able to put some really good pixels in here. Same thing with the Honor, just a really nice phone to look at. Now, they're both high density displays. We get 393, I'm sorry, 391 pixels per inch on the um, Qbot X30, as you can see right here. The colors on here are really nice, 1080 by 2340 on the you on the um, Huawei on the Honor and 23 by 10 full HD on both devices as well. So we do have a notchless display, no cutouts or anything of that sort on the Honor 9X Pro. Just an all display right here, as you can see, just a beautiful screen to look at. Um, colors are bright, very vivid, uh, things of that nature. So I'll show you. 
the uh, the screen just looks really full, really, really nice to look at. That all screen display. Now on the Cubot X30, we are getting uh, without a notch, but we, we're getting a punch hole, a punch hole notch. So you can see at the top left corner, we do see that um, the screen just looks amazingly sharp and beautiful and colorful. I have a screen protector on this device just because there is not um, any protection as far as Gorilla Glass, but I did put that tempered glass over top. And um, just to show you, this is a frameless device. It's an all unicell body. Um, this one does have a frame on the Honor 9X Pro. You can see that aluminum frame all the way around it. So I, I really like that. Now, um, it does say that both of these devices are going to be really good um, for gaming. So I have been gaming on both of these devices. Now, the better phone you can play Fortnite with is the Honor 9X Pro. I've been able to play Fortnite on here. Um, just a variety of different games and, and things of that nature. We have the Kirin 810 chip on this device. So really, really, really powerful. It's going to be able to play um, pretty much any game that you throw at it without any issues whatsoever. So honestly, if you were looking to, um, you know, like game or things of that sort, um, I definitely would recommend the Honor 9X Pro. It's just a really solid device as far as, you know, gaming and um, overall graphics. There, there wasn't any issues with this phone. Everything is buttery smooth. So, um really nothing to complain about with this device it's just a really solid device um i love gaming on this device i like um all types of things you know playing this playing with this phone you can really get a lot of gaming done this thing is really just a powerhouse of a device records in 4k um as well now we do get um the, the octa core clocked in at 2.27 with the arm molly uh, g52 mp6 so really impressive when it comes to that performance on here um now we do get eight gigabytes of ram on this model and 128 gigabytes of internal storage we do get your gravity sensors accelerometer proximity sensors things of that sort so you know you would be um, pretty impressed with this device overall when it comes to the performance really uh, realistic right now the game is really smooth as far as the gameplay what is this thing oh snap game is live Oh, I switched my weapon by accident. All right, here we go. All right, let me find somebody to kill. Where is he? All right, got him. Yeah, so this is really cool. We get six gigabytes of RAM on here. It feels really snappy. Um, it also feels really um, quick right now. Like there's no lag on here. Somebody's behind me. Oh man. But yeah, this is really awesome gameplay on here. No lags whatsoever. Um, really smooth, really snappy. Um, I'm not having any issues with this game. So I honestly could say that when it comes to the gaming, you're gonna get 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, really snappy processing chip on this, the this Cubot X30. So I'm really enjoying the gameplay when I'm using it. Now, when it comes to the cameras on both devices, we have a 48 megapixel AI camera on the um, Honor 9X Pro. It's a Sony IMX sensor. We also do have an eight megapixel underneath for wide angle and a two megapixel for portraits. Now on the front of it, we do have a uh, 16 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, which also does really good job. You can record in 4K with this phone, which is really good, it has autofocus. Um, everything on this camera is superb. Now let's talk about the cameras on the Cubot X30. We have a 
48 megapixel main camera. We also have a, it's it's made by Samsung. It's an ISO cell camera. It, we also do have a wide angle six, uh, 16 megapixel and a 5 megapixel macro camera on the Cubot X as well as a 2 megapixel portrait camera. Now on the front, we do have a 32 megapixel camera as well. So just a really nice budget device, $189, $250 or 289 but hundred different hundred dollars difference you're gonna get a better camera system but these cameras can actually do a pretty decent job especially the front camera I like how the fact it has a wide angle and um, a dedicated wide angle and 48 megapixel main camera as well now button placement is very similar you do see we have the fingerprint sensors right here except the volume rocker is gonna be right above the top of the Honor 9x Pro where the volume rocker here is going to be on this side so we have the volume rocker on the other side so they put the power button right above the volume the, the fingerprint sensor on the QBot so you get all your buttons on this side and then this side is barren of any buttons sim cards are both on this side it's on that side right there it's at the top on this one but we do get headphone jacks one at the bottom here no headphone jack here we just get a light sensor at the top but Type-C charging on both devices as well. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, guys, so let's do a quick Geekbench comparison. Obviously, the Honor 9X Pro on the right will be a lot more powerful. Let me see. It's going to be a way more powerful, but um, for the price of both of these devices, if you're looking to spend a little bit more, I could definitely recommend the Xbox. Um, this is the most recent scores. Wow, so those are pretty good on both sides, you know what I mean? I'm really impressed with the Honor 9X Pro. I'm really impressed with the Cubot X30. Let me know down below which one you prefer. We do have NFC on the Cubot X30, but we don't have that on the Honor 9X Pro. So just keep that in mind. Something that's really cool that we do have on the uh, Xbot, which is kind of impressive, just to say the least. So, now with all that being said, let's do a quick speed test on both of these devices. I'm gonna clear out all the apps. Clear all. And we're gonna open up Spotify first. Let's try that real quick. Here it is, one, two, and three. And for this one, it looks like it loaded quicker it's still loading on the Honor 9X Pro, so that was weird. Let's try uh, SoundCloud, one, two, three. That one was the Cubot. Well, it's, I'm not signed in, so I'm not sure. Let's try, um, while well, the Cubot is actually performing well, as you can see, so let's go into Amazon, one, two, three. Okay. It's already open on the QBot first, which was crazy. It was open on the QBot first. I'm getting a ton of notifications. Play Store. Um, let's try the Play Store. Hold on. Here it is. One, two, three. I I couldn't see that that time. Let me know down below. Sorry about the sirens in the back. Somebody um, called the ambulance or something. Okay, so we have Twitter, one, two, three. Okay, that was definitely the Honor 9X Pro that time. Let's try um, Facebook, one, two, and three. And that was the QBot. So the QBot has excellent performance, guys. It's it's an excellent phone for the price. It's handling, um, the it's matching the speeds. One, two, three, Instagram. That was the QBot this time. You can see right there. So, that's crazy. Okay, so you can see 189 for the QBot X30 and for the Honor 9X with Play Store 225. So, really competitive phones here, guys. Really enjoy using both of these. Uh, so, let me know down below what you guys think. But in the meantime, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll get right back with you. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending where you are. Later, crew. Peace.